One thing that's good if people want to protect their body skateboarding, and actually Danny was early to this, Mm -hmm. and my friend Laird Hamilton was early Mm -hmm. to this too. Some of it might've been genetic, but those dudes have big Big necks. necks. Now Danny- skinny neck. Well, Danny broke his neck, right? Yep, yep, yep. Um, I remember when that happened. Danny broke his neck, but most people don't train their neck. And there are certain parts of their body where you're really vulnerable. And skateboarders are two areas of the body that regardless of the, you know, aesthetic thing that if you want a long life in skateboarding, you want to keep your neck strong. Mm-hmm. And there are ways to do that. Don't do bridges because mm-hmm. eventually the discs go and it happens uh-huh. overnight and then you're you're messed up. But basically just like resistance from side to side with a towel, it's not going to make your neck big, but okay. having the ability to not um, whiplash Whip. yourself yeah, is, you. okay. and it also protects your, your brains. Oh, and so all the F1 drivers, they train their neck. Hard, oh, because they're, right? yeah. Right, you got to stabilize. And then the other one is the front of your shin hmm. is this anterior tibialis muscle. It's the one that raises your toe up towards okay. your knee. Okay. And had I known this a long time ago, there might've been hope for me in skateboarding, but it gives you a ton of stability in the knee and allows you to jump much higher. So just with the, in the yeah. front of the, in the front of the shin. Right. And there's a guy on Instagram who shows how to train this up and it's totally cost free because it's on Instagram. He's uh-huh. called literally, the, well, his real name is Ben Parker, uh, but it, his uh, handle on Instagram is knees over toes guy. Okay. And he, he always had bad knees and he started training that anterior tib thing, but doing hmm. these toe raises and he shows you how to do it. You just lean against the wall. You don't need a gym or anything. You raise that. That's gonna create a ton of stability in the knee and he can dunk a basketball at like 45 years old or 42 wow. years old. And he's up above the rim. Now how tall is he? Again? Yeah. Uh, he can't be, su- I don't know how tall he is exactly, okay. but he, he's not super tall. He's seven, okay. six. No. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well. And, and so, so much of skateboarding, right, is about knees over toes. Mm-hmm. If you think about it in every other sport, you probably, well, I don't know if you know, but they always say, don't let your knees travel out above your toes. You're going to tear your ACL. Mm-hmm. Everything in skateboarding mm-hmm. is land, right. you know, knees over toes, knees over toes. Sure, sure. And you can prevent a lot of injuries in the back and in the elbows and in any kind of, um, land and slam type event. And this is, you see a lot of this in kind of any ballistic training, military training where people are jumping down off things. Mm. If you create stability in that lower part of the leg with the anterior tib, Mm -hmm. you are giving yourself a ton of longevity and you're giving yourself a tremendous amount of hop and presumably pop too. So So like uh, the other day I was actually trying to dunk a basketball and I can just, I could touch the rim. Okay. How, yeah, I was like, how do I learn how to jump higher? So uh, check out Knees Over Toes. Okay. Um, ben is actually from Sacramento. He's living down this way uh, these days. And um, I don't know him personally. We've mm-hmm. only talked once or twice by text because I wrote to him and just said, I think what you're doing is amazing. I, you know, I'm a huge fan of people giving health and fitness and mental health information sure. mm-hmm. for free online. Mm-hmm. And um, he can get people dunking. Wow. You'll, you will that's, be dunking a basketball. That's yeah. crazy. Well, yeah. I, I'm making I, promises I probably shouldn't make. But <laughs> no, that's amazing. Not, maybe no, a tennis ball. You yeah. know. No, but I, I always trip because I, I want, maybe in my prime, like five years ago, I, I, I had a lot of pop. Me too. I did. And I could never dunk a basketball though. Mm. And I always thought it was like, how can I get up onto this, but I can't yeah, right. do that. Well, right. it's the springiness and the way he trains it also is, you know, he'll get up on a ladder and it's, so in, in any kind of movement, any muscle contraction, there's what's called the concentric movement like this, like moving the wrist towards the shoulders, like bicep, and then moving it away. When you lower something, it's called the eccentric movement. Mm-hmm. And the eccentric movement is actually what makes you sore, but when you, when you do that very slowly, but it's what builds strength and explosiveness in the muscles the most. It's like loading a spring. And there's a million neural, there's a muscle spindle and all this stuff I could spin off into, into the geekiness of this, but I won't. So a lot of the way that he trains this is to have people jump off something and break their fall oh. and to let their knees travel over their toes. Now it's a buildup that's right, gradual. Right. And as I say this, I'm realizing you know, one of the beautiful things about skateboarding is that there aren't training protocols or you know people doing push-ups or mm-hmm. sit-ups on the side. And that's what's so refreshing about it. So I do wanna acknowledge that everything I'm saying could potentially ruin skateboarding. <laughs> but but uh, I also hope that it would help people skateboard longer or for the kid that is like me back when who just somehow structurally or whatever was going on i didn't have the Mm -hmm. i had the mental oomph but not the physical throughput that that can help there are things that you can do Mm. just like blayback was able to 
drop uh, drop sixty pounds. And sixty absolutely. pounds is a lot of weight. It's a lot yeah. of weight. Yeah. Yeah. Try to pick up a sixty pound dumbbell. That's any, half of me. Year, yeah, sure. yeah. Where is that like button? Right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's subscribe over to yeah. It's on your it's on my left. Right? It's no, on, my left. on your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, please. The, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Like oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. Like right over there. All right.